Hello guys, this is Dr. Lior Bar-L. Uh, today I have some things uh, to talk about, uh, some things that really pissed me off. Me being a PlayStation 4 owner and of course a Nintendo Switch owner, I am really, really pissed uh, with uh, the PlayStation, with Sony completely. But now I'm going to first talk to you guys about what... Uh, what pretty much happened yesterday. Uh, the announcements in Nintendo Direct might have been a little bit underwhelming, but I mean, they have a great lineup coming out. Uh, I'm looking forward to Smash. I am a little bit disappointed. Yoshi, uh, the the uh, Nintendo Switch game, uh, which they it looked like they promised us that on the 18th, uh, was actually going to be, you know, was going to come into fruition at, at 2018, but now it looks like it's not. Again, they might have to... Um, they might want to save some things, or maybe they don't want to get uh, steamrolled by the other ones like Pokemon in November, Smash Brothers in December, and so on and so forth. So maybe I'm thinking they don't want to enter uh, that field yet because they're going to get steamrolled, okay? So, you know, maybe maybe that could be an issue. Maybe they have it wrong, something went wrong, and they have to fix it. And I'd rather them take their sweet uh, time and uh, release a game that actually works and is great. And I think I'd really, really, really dig it. So another announcement they made was that Fortnite was going to come out on that day. And obviously we all knew that, and guess what? It's out. Uh, I was a little bit late. I didn't want to uh, make the review for this game uh, yesterday. I wanted to make it today because I wanted to give myself some time to get used to it. And guys, I got to tell you, I love it for the Nintendo Switch. I absolutely love it. I got to be honest with you. I didn't think it was going to be great. I thought there was going to be some issues with the online and all of that stuff. But no, it operates phenomenal. It goes extremely quick. Everything's really awesome. But what's wrong with Sony now? Well, as we all know, right? Um, let me just... Uh, play this as I'm talking to you guys because I want to show you guys how it looks like. Oh, the profile can be viewed from your whatever. Uh, oh, pss. all right. There you go. So, I don't know what the hell's up with Sony. Everybody is allowing crossplay. That means Xbox, that means PC, that means everybody, uh, Nintendo Switch, are all agreeing to do a crossplay all together. Or to bring the account in if you had it on the system and bring it over to the Switch. Uh, crossplay is a wonderful, wonderful idea. But again, Sony with its selfish, selfish marketing system. And I know many people uh, who hate, uh, who loved Sony, sorry, who loved Sony. Uh, are now beginning to hate it, and you can obviously see it on the forums. They're starting to hate, um, you know, hate it completely for what they're doing in terms of crossplay. Now, I would never have thought that they would have put their, you know, their uh, strangling arms in, uh, you know, on uh, what do you call it? I'm gonna get my butt kicked here. But on, uh, are they my team? I don't even know. Yeah, they are. Oh, there you go. That's I keep forgetting. Um, so. The thing is, I didn't think, because this is Epic Games, it's a third-party developer, I didn't think Sony would actually have the gall to do something uh, to do something like that. I really think it is beyond stupid that they, um, that they did this, and it's really, really pissing me off. And uh, because, you know, uh, Epic Games basically said there's nothing they could do about it because it's Sony's issue, right? So Sony, actually, as uh, ridiculous as they are, I mean, I don't even forgive them for what they did to the... To what do you call uh, to the uh, uh, PlayStation Vita? When the PlayStation Vita, they took it off the market and stopped developing for it, and end up destroying it and abandoning it. Uh, I already had lost trust, and I would have never bought a PlayStation Four. I don't care about any of that today. You could see like all these things; you could get them anywhere, right? But the thing is, um, I was actually uh, kind of, kind of um, amazed that this. Oh God, what are they doing? Oh, here we go. Uh, I was kind of amazed. Uh, that uh, they would do uh, such a thing. I'm pressing Y. Oh, here we go. Sorry, I forgot. <laughs> All right, so uh, I was actually quite amazed that they did that. They did that. That they actually would be so selfish that they would screw over their entire customers by not letting them. I don't even care. Look, if you don't even let us play against other systems. Okay, first off, I'm gonna I'm playing it on my on my Switch, and I don't care. I'm I'm gonna abandon my PlayStation Four as, as far as any game that has to do with crossplay. I will not buy it for the PlayStation Four. I would rather I, I would rather buy it in the superior system, uh, the PC, obviously, where you could push all its limitations over a weaker PlayStation Four. I really don't care what fanboys say. It's the the truth is the truth. But the thing is, if it's an exclusive game. 
I would be pissed as hell at Sony for doing that. It really, really pisses me off. I mean, I can't believe they would do such a stupid thing. I mean, such a selfish thing too, because many of the uh, many of the fans are pissed off right now. Uh, all over the forums, you could see this, that they're like, what the hell, Sony? What the hell are you thinking? And again, they're not listening to their customers, just like the people who said, well, if you, you know, you got to release content. Content is what makes the sales when they were telling them about uh, the PlayStation Vita, and they just abandoned it without even listening to their customers. Because again, Sony doesn't, really give a damn as long as they have any type of market when they're endangered a bankruptcy or something then they'll start listening but anyways i'm not gonna you know get too pissed off about this but that's the that's the major issue and it's really really ticking me off uh with sony i understand they want to increase their sales and their system so everybody has their system and uh you know uh, you know the sony system and that's the real reason why they're doing it but to be honest with you that's very very cheesy and a lot of people are not gonna freaking buy it they're just not so uh you know and i already see a lot of people on the forums are already saying they're gonna go opt for an xbox and right now to be honest with you i'm gonna say this Content is what rules, okay? And let's face it, guys. The entire thing over, over Nintendo, over, over uh, anything, uh, the best presentation on E3, over PlayStation, everything, was the Microsoft presentation. Over 50 games, people. Over 50 games. Okay? So that's something to think about. So they have a great lineup. Anywhere from releasing a game the next day, like all companies did, the near 2018 with 18 exclusives, of course. And then on top of everything else, they have, um, what do you call it? They have uh, cross-play and everything that's enabled, but also 50 people, 50 games coming up, uh, coming up for the lineup. And that's just amazing. So Microsoft finally listened to its customers and finally saw why they were failing. It's because of their lack of content. And they basically said, here's Sony, up yours. We're coming out with this. We're coming out with that. And you notice... They don't have anything to lose from crossplay because they also sell PC games. So that makes sense. I get it why Sony is doing it. They don't want people going into, you know, into, uh, I'm like damaging everybody just to get it. Uh, they don't want anybody to, um, <laughs> They don't want anybody to uh, to get their sales from the system, but what they don't understand is nobody cares about that. They just want the crossplay so they can play against their friends, and everybody still are loyalists to whatever system they have. Okay, each one carries an exclusive, and that's what matters. Again, content. It has nothing to do with crossplay. Crossplay is a big plus. It's a big thing that that it is. But if you guys intentionally, <laughs> she's killing me because I'm doing it to its own. Yeah, I'm that much of an idiot. Uh, hold on. Let me see here. Oh, okay. So I'm an idiot. So uh, I'm just like talking and barely looking at it and just pressing buttons. But um, that's basically what it is, guys. It really, really ticked me off. And right now, you know, to be able to play crossplay with all your friends and everybody, I mean, it, it's just amazing. And for Sony to say, you know, screw you guys, we don't care. It's not even if you don't want to play again one against the other. The fact that you can't carry your saves, look at, it, I love that. The fact that you can't carry your saves is so freaking lame. It's unbelievable how lame that that crap is. So I mean, that that's the thing that gets to me. I just really, really hate it. And um, you know, I really hope Sony can uh, get out of this nonsense that it's doing. And uh, Actually, um, <laughs> it, I'm like player killer, and actually does something about it because they will lose. Uh, they will lose a lot of uh, customers from that. Already, people are are complaining, so I know for a fact they're going to lose customers. There's no doubt about it. Uh, eventually, all the all the people who are online players are not going to want to just be, you know, just go straight up to Sony. So that's really all I got to say about that. Let me know what you guys think down below. Am I just overreacting here? I mean, everybody is everybody overreacting? Or is Sony really becoming the Count Dushku or uh, 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 Senator Palpadouche of, of the entire gaming industry? Because to me, that's what it looks like right here. A bunch of selfish little twits who don't care about anything about their customers. And to be honest, the, the fact that they think that that actually you know, that destroys their sales... Uh, and, and obviously, that's really what I think it is. Uh, they're just a bunch of idiots, to be honest with you. I just can't believe, can't believe how stupid it is. It just doesn't make any sense. But anyways, uh, 
let me know what you guys think. So Yoshi is going to be delayed, obviously. Metroid Prime, they just showed us that, hey, it's coming. But <laughs> they're, they're definitely, it's going to come out probably holiday 2019. But we got a great lineup from Smash Brothers, Pokemon, um, Mega Man 11, um, you know, Wolfenstein coming out now. Uh, a bunch of games that are coming out, uh, Monster Hunter. Uh, so we have a lot of games coming out, and kudos to Nintendo. And I really, really enjoy the uh, the fact that they bring all of these cool games to us to take it uh, on the portable devices. And, uh, you know, everybody was kind of worried how, uh, you know, Smash Brothers are going to play because it looks so good. Is the resolutions, are they going to lower it to, to achieve full, you know, full frames and all that? Absolutely they are. They actually made a promise. Full 1080p on the docked and 720 on, you know, to go. And for you guys who don't have a Switch, you're like, 720, that's that's low. No, it's not. Because to the naked eye, there's no real difference if you look at it between the... Actually, it looks even better, to be honest with you, on handheld mode than it looks on a big television that's 4K, obviously. But I'm saying, you know, even on a HD television, it would look great, but it looks really nice also on portable. So anyways, let me know what you guys think down below. Uh, you know, as always, self-funded here, uh, doing all kinds of reviews and... Uh, crap like this uh the only thing i ask is for you guys to help me out by liking sharing this video hitting the subscribe button and hitting the bell button as many more videos to come but to all you guys who don't have a switch guys right now is the time to get a nintendo switch because now all the awesome games are coming out and it's gonna be freaking amazing trust me have a good one y'all take care bye